Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the Fast Break Report. So today, I have a pretty quick video for this one. Uh, this is pretty funny. Uh, but as of about six minutes ago, uh, Bleacher Report put out a, a tweet saying that Kevin Porter Jr. of the Cleveland Cavaliers is either going to be traded or released. And not for nothing, man, but this guy is not anything super special. I think he only averages like 10 points a game. He, if I'm correct, he's shooting, he shoots like 42% from the field, like 34% from three or something like that. He averages 10 points, three rebounds, and two assists a game. I mean, he's only been in the league one year and... Not for nothing, man, but this is a guy that's kind of like throwing his career down the drain, if that makes any sense, because this is the second time he's had an issue, and the the Cavaliers are clearly just done with the guy, regardless of how good he is or how good he could be. Um, clearly, the Cavaliers have had enough. Um, he was recently arrested on a weapons charge uh, and then held on $4,000 bail and he was bailed out and they actually ended up dropping the weapons charges on him. It wasn't that like he had an illegal weapon. He, it, it could have been something as minor as like he had the weapon loaded while it was in the car or the mag and the, the gun in the wrong place as somebody who owns firearms. I can, I can speak on this, but he got arrested for that. And then on top of it, now he... It's being reported that his locker was given to Torian Prince as a result of the Brooklyn Nets trade. The the Cleveland Cavaliers ended up getting Jared Allen and Torian Prince. And apparently his locker was given to Torian Prince and he threw food as a result of it. Now, I don't understand what the big deal is about this. If somebody gets given your locker, whatever, I, I mean... To be fair, okay, it's not like he's LeBron James, all right? It's not like you get to make decisions of where your locker is because of just how good you are. And uh, not for nothing, man, but this guy's been having problems for, since God knows how long. I think he was also arrested. I could be wrong. Um, I think he was also arrested. Um, yeah, and then he... Yeah, he was arrested on November 15th, actually, for and charged with improper handling of a firearm in a motor vehicle, and then he flipped his Mercedes SUV on an interstate southeast of Cleveland. So, I, I don't know. Oh, okay, so actually, this was after he flipped his Mercedes SUV on an interstate southeast of Cleveland. Listen, man, dude's a basket case. I, I don't know what the deal is. Like, he's got, like, this mugshot going on, which... Is looking like some pretty good thumbnail material, but uh, either way, <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the Cleveland Cavaliers are getting rid of the guy. Um, it sucks, dude. I hate it when I see these young athletes like screw up their career because this is going to follow him now wherever he goes. Like, if Cleveland's had enough of you, then you know it'd be one thing if he were producing. You know what I'm saying at like a high level and scoring like I don't know 17 points a game, something like that. Like. Maybe they would put up with him, but after one year, you have the weapons charge, you flipped your SUV, I mean, and now you have an outburst like this, and there was, there was, like, whispers of him not being very happy in Cleveland. I don't know what the dude expects, to be honest with you. I mean, like, I, he's he went to a team that wasn't that good, and now he's there, and now he's, he's essentially a, still a new player there, like, I just, I don't get it. His rookie year was 2020, and now it's 2021, and that's it. Like, the Cavaliers have said they've had enough of him. Personally, I don't think any team's going to trade for him. I don't think he's that good. Um, maybe a desperate team will pick him up off waivers. I, I don't know who, but I, I just don't see anyone trading for him. I, that, that's just my personal opinion. I don't think he's that good. I don't think he's a, a player that teams are, like, you know, jumping head over heels for to get, so... Anyway, that's just my opinion on it. Tell me what you guys think down below, down below in the comment section. A like helps me out. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. This is the Fast Break Report, and I'm out of here. Peace, guys.